It is 6.30 a.m. We're about to leave for our road trip to Portland and Crater Lake, but that is no excuse for a subpar breakfast. I think we're good to go. I might have to eat a muffin just to save space in the car. Yeah, sure, just to save space <laughs> in the car. Since we're only camping for one night, we decided we'd just pick up prepared food and keep it in a cooler. It's not really in the spirit of camping, but it'll be so simple. We're gonna go to a diner, and I have Nick in a very weird position right now so he can film me driving and you can see some establishing shots. This is exactly the kind of restaurant you'd want out of a small town and I got a veggie burger. We're two hours away, just random town that we happen to be in. We're in Weed, California. We're in Oregon now and it's always been a state goal of mine so far. It's been good to us. We're just about at the entrance of the national park and we stopped to grab some firewood from this store and we were really nice to the clerk and she ended up giving us a free national park pass that someone else had left behind. I think it really pays off to be nice. I've been given free stuff before. I got free Chipotle two weeks ago. The one campground we were counting on is full right now and there aren't really many others in this national park. We're gonna go to the visitor center and see what's up. Hopefully, we'll be able to find a place to sleep tonight. Through some incredible stroke of luck, a couple campsites just opened up, which is sick because this is the only campground in the entire park. We would've had to drive like 40 minutes outside to some subpar campground, but now we got the big fire campground. This place is beautiful. This has all the amenities. Table, that's about it. The last trip I took with James was the Yosemite trip over winter break and that was just a disaster. We got to the campground and it was empty and it was empty for a reason because no one would want to camp in 15 degree weather. This is perfect temperature. We're going to set up a tent and then we're going to catch a sunset hike. Nature's hammer. Uh -huh. It's going to be a lovely tent. We're headed to a hike now to try and catch sunset and I have this grape leaf burrito. I love burritos. I love grape leaves. This doesn't sound very good, but I'm just intrigued by it. This is rice wrapped in a grape leaf, wrapped in a tortilla, wrapped in plastic, wrapped into my mouth. I think Josh just wrapped as well. Oh, was that a wrap? I think it was. It's crazy. It is June 30th and there's still plenty of snow on the ground. And this one campsite's actually closed because the path is snowed out. What's even crazier is this grape leaf burrito. It's better than you'd even imagine. This is the deepest lake in America, and I intend to go swimming in it at some point. So the reason why it's so blue is apparently there's no river that leads into or out of it, so it's all fresh water pretty much. One thing that's really different from all the national parks I've been to is on these hikes, you're always walking to some grand destination, and it's this big payoff. And supposedly this is gonna be a cool view, but it's strange because we're always seeing this payoff right here. Two hours round trip, 3.4 miles. So it's called Wizard Island. That's like the coolest island name ever. That's the coolest island name ever, Wizard Island. <laughs> it's a sick name. <laughs> I stand by what I said. I love wizards. So the lady mentioned something about a snow slide. I don't know what that means, but it sounds exciting. That is death. Oh. I did that on purpose for the record. What if the joke turned bad? That would be really bad. I would love to die joking. So it looks like this is all uphill until the end. If you need. So here's the question. If you were to fall off and like you've accepted that you're falling, do you embrace it and do like a gainer, front flip, spin? Uh, no. no. Try to latch on. All right, once the latching is gone though, you gotta, you gotta finish with some finesse. No, I, I finish gainer. with a giant scream and then a crunch. Is it like the wind blowing from the lake and then up the mountain? According to my fifth grade science class, I have no idea. <laughs> why, why are you asking you this? the engines? My photo goals while I'm here, I want to get one good photo of James and Nick and a decent photo of the lake. I think that's accomplishable. Got him. Boom. Screenshot. Done. They said there were some patches of snow that were sketchy to cross. They weren't lying. Here goes everything. Oh my gosh. Let me put the camera away for this guy. All right. Got him. That was sketchy for sure. How are your shoes? Mud. Oh, you got... Oh, I did too. Yeah, this is really steep. Or the worst for last. I like to tell myself that as a skateboarder, this sort of thing is really easy because I have muscles on my legs. But realistically, it doesn't help. This is still strenuous. <laughs> that was a lot. That was really steep. And the worst part is you can't even tell incline in video. So 
Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. It looks so easy from here. We probably just look like babies. I just took like 50 photos of James and Nick. I've been trying to work on my portraiture lately. It's pretty easy when you have such a nice backdrop. Some hikers told us that it gets kind of seedy over here because of the snow. And some people made it past. Some people just quit. We're not sure what we're going to do. So this is like totally snowed in the rest of the path. We out here in Crater Lake. I'm rapping like my name is Drake. Grab your shovel, grab your rake, cause it's time to clean up. I'm gonna mean up. The streets are mean and my body's lean. <laughs> I didn't ask him to do that. He didn't. I'm switching to my wide angle lens now. What's your character? Bad tour guide. So right now we're at um, Lake Crater. Right now we're at the highest peak attainable by man. And no, 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 no. So all this water comes directly from the Atlantic Ocean. I don't know, about 2 billion people come here each year. We're gonna head back now. Figure it's not worth trying to hike up a mile of snow. Just gonna hang out at the campsite and make a fire and enjoy our night. One thing is usually with these hiking trips, we just try and gun it all the way until it's dark outside and then we end up cooking and making fires in the dark. And it's sort of unpleasant because you don't get that much time to hang out. It's gonna be cool to actually get back to the campsite, have a little bit of natural light, just be able to kick it for a little while. You got a slide in you? A little bit. <laughs> you got it? James starts an avalanche. Sketchiest part of the journey right here. His bug is on a play date right now. And he wasn't invited. He really likes my camera. All right, dude, I gotta go home. The lighting in here is incredible. Taking a few more portraits. That's all we do here. That's all we do. I'm so taste taste. I usually keep my Fergie singing off film. We finished our hike, or the part of the hike we did. I'm gonna go eat pesto tortellini, and it's gonna be glorious. All right, gonna go make dinner. Just open up the cooler, and it's there. Just snagged a couple of sunset shots while James and Nick ran to the car because the mosquitoes are so bad. They're hungry for dinner, for sure, but so are we. A new one. Oh, nice. Yeah, you might want to get close to it. Oh, oh. Okay. It's good to know it's not just me. You got it? Yeah, so throw those guys. Nice. We got a flame. Pre made tortellini by the fire. How's your tabouli? Very solid. I have my iPhone in the tent to light it up and I'm shooting some long exposures of it. I have this flash here so we can light up the backdrop and hopefully the photos are going to turn out. Yeah, you gotten some good stuff so far? Oh yeah. I ended up using this light right here to paint in the trees during the long exposure so they're a little bit brighter. And here's how the photo turned out. Morning guys, so we forgot bowls for breakfast and we brought granola and yogurt, which could have been a real problem. But what's hysterical is I brought these banana nut muffins and these are pretty much James and Nick's worst nightmare because you are allergic to gluten and he's allergic to nuts. But this plastic thing is going to be our bowl. It's perfect. Oh, that's brilliant. What would have killed you is now your saving grace. The joint plate. Kind of adorable in a weird way. You hopping in? I'm hopping in. This is the best bowl I've ever used. This is a, a team building bowl. Like, you could do a ropes course or you just eat cereal with your friends. Neither one works. When I was a kid, I was really addicted to Tetris and I'm convinced that it's benefited me in the long run. Packing is just my skill. Thank you, Tetris. Right here. We're here. We want to get to Cleetwood Cove. I'm thinking we should go this way. Hey guys, Nick here again for another healthy tip on staying alive in the wilderness. So now you see this like here freezes up in the winter. A lot of ice skaters come out here. Actually, this is where they filmed Blades of Glory with John Hedder. Thank you guys. We are now doing Cleetwood Cove Trail, 2.2 miles round trip, and there's a sick cliff jump at the end, so I'm pumped. This lake is unreal, truly unreal. This lady in the parking lot showed us a photo of a cliff jump, and it was just stunning. 
So now I'm just way too excited to get there. It was a pretty good photo and I didn't peg her for a good photographer. The setup was very modest. Okay. So either she's super talented or the spot is incredible. Yeah. Probably both. Might be one of those where it's like you just point it and it's beautiful no matter what. That's sort of what I'm expecting. I've seen a lot of chipmunks so far. You guys remember in like sixth grade when you're jumping off the diving board at the pool? It was all cool to like grab your legs and do those like tricks, you know what I'm talking about? Pseudo tricks, not really tricks. Is that cool now or is that just dorky? I think we're about halfway there. It's a pretty steep mountain, so it just brings you side to side to side to side. See, I think I think that's the cliff jumping spot over there. How's it going, guys? Hello, hey. We've made it down to the bottom of the lake and it's crazy how clear it is. You can see exactly how deep it is. And now for the cliff jump. How does it look? Not yeah, bad. Right. All right, I'm gonna go over there and grab a shot really quick. You wanna do it with a GoPro? Can you guys give me a three, two, one? Send it! Do you want a countdown? I uh, No, I'll just do it. You, you recording? Yeah, do it. Alright, this is scary. <laughs> <laughs> nice! I lost the contact. I might as well do a 360 now. Oh great! <laughs> Freezing though. So I don't mind the uh, the jumping off part. It's the swimming back part that's hard. Yeah, but you stayed in the water. <laughs> yeah, that'll take a lot of. <laughs> yeah, that was impressive for the video, right? Now to take some photos. While you're in there, just make waves really. Just splash around for a second. You know, that's probably perfect. Are you sure? Because see, you set these vibrations going now, and they're going to make the photo look real cool. Thanks a bunch, guys. I think I figured out my good shot here. That dock is where I was shooting from. I think I got some okay shots, and now we have to climb all the way up this thing. It was all downhill on the way here, which means this is not going to be as fun. I never feel as inclined to film us going up the mountain again because it's really just the same thing as going down but with a lot more panting. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Wipe it out. Yep, there it is. <laughs> so incredible. Almost done with this hike. I feel like I have to just appreciate it one more time. I love how there's kind of like this understanding that as you're passing hikers, you have to say, hey, how's it going? Oh, it's so friendly. That's what I love about national parks. Yeah. What I really liked is like down there, when people were jumping off and they were nervous, everyone would get together and just cheer for the person, these complete strangers. I'm like, wow, it's like this instant sense of community that comes out of nowhere. And this is the one Smeagol looking guy runs up and pushes you. <laughs> We've made it, and now we're gonna go to Portland. After we eat some peanut butter jelly sandwiches. You do have jelly, right? We don't have jelly. Man, my forehead's looking really shiny right now. These freaking lights. Not doing me too well. How's it going guys? I hope you enjoyed this video. What I'm really curious about is what did you think of this longer style travel video? In the past, I've done a lot of shorter ones that are really more like montages, quicker cuts, more music, a little less narration. This was about as close as it gets to a vlog and it was definitely much longer than the other ones. So I really wanna know what you guys think and what's more entertaining. If you haven't seen my other road trip videos, I have a playlist full of them right here. So go check out a few of them and leave a comment down below letting me know what you like more because I really just wanna make what you guys wanna see. Also, if you wanna see more of the photos we took during this trip, Mine, James's, and Nick's. We all have Instagrams, links to those down below. If you liked the photos I took on this trip, two things. One, I have a whole series on photography tutorials, link to that over here. And if I shot something in this trip and you're wondering how I did it and I haven't made a tutorial on that yet, leave a comment down below. Maybe it's daytime long exposures, nighttime camping shots,
nuts. Whatever it is, let me know. And if enough people ask for it, I'll make the tutorial. And two, if you're wondering about my equipment, I have my entire camera setup in the description down below. And I think the most important aspect of my setup for these sort of trips is my tripod. It's super flexible and can wrap around logs, rocks, whatever. So I can always get a stable tripod that fits in my bag. Super important and I absolutely love it. Last thing I want to say, I was hesitant to include this in the video because it's a little bit slow, but I have an important tip for those of you who are taking road trips. Sometimes it gets a little bit boring in the car when you're driving and what I found past the time best is podcasts. Now, this is not some sponsored thing. This is just genuine appreciation of a great podcast that I want you guys to check out. Without further ado, here it is. Word made a lasting impression, even on the killer whale. And he's gonna be after the king and the queen. We've been listening to a This American Life podcast called Act Five, and it's about a bunch of prisoners putting on a production of Hamlet, and it's absolutely incredible. I've been obsessed with This American Life over the last few weeks. I've listened to dozens so far, and it's just top notch. Made the last two hours a really easy drive. It's about felt like 15 minutes. I highly recommend you guys check out This American Life and just listen to whatever podcast sounds interesting because I've yet to listen to one that isn't that great. Yeah, that's it. Go check out NPR's This American Life. They're all incredibly entertaining. That is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you eventually.